Hey, welcome back guys. My name's Nick. I'm Justin. And welcome to the Wag House. Today we're going to be talking about Three Sheets Barrel Age Run from Cutwater Spirits. Cutwater Spirits was started by a man named Joseph Kearney, who was a brewer or owner of Ballast Point Brewery and started fermenting and making liquor in the back of the brewery in a old uh, beer fermenter. Uh, since then, the company has branched off into its own uh, distillery called Cutwater Spirits, where they make a whole line of all kinds of products from rum, tequilas, uh, what would they call tequila, uh, vodkas, whiskeys, obviously. And, uh, all kinds of other mixes and cans. You know, I'm pretty excited about this one because we did try that um, that Bali one. That tasted freaking amazing for rum. So yes, it did. And I was I was actually really impressed with that rum. Um, I like their whiskey as well. Yeah. Uh, I, I really I really have not been disappointed with Cutwater. I haven't either. So even though I'm not much of a rum drinker, though I just kind of feel like they're trying to convert me. <laughs> you know what? I mean, you did say it tastes like French toast. It did. It was, it was, it was, it was so delicious. Good. So let's, you know what, let's crack this open and give it a shot. Yeah. So this bottle in front of us, it gives us a kind of like an amber color to it. And they're supposed to, they say it's supposed to have like notes of like caramel, vanilla, and maybe a slight bit of tobacco. So which is very interesting. I've never heard of that before. No. I know, I've never actually thought about drinking tobacco yeah same so let's 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 uh let's open it up we got this product in san marcos california off of uh, san marcos boulevard and los Postas, a store called uh, liquor stop and i picked it up for about 40 bucks and it's pretty good price for what it is i've seen most places that it's, it could go up to like 45 bucks maybe 50 depending where you are and it's about it's about 80 proof, so should be pretty decent to drink. So I'm really excited to try it. Delicious. I definitely, sweet. I definitely don't taste tobacco. No, I don't either. It's, it's sweet for sure. It's uh. Well, actually, no, not tobacco. I don't know about tobacco, but definitely the caramel. Sweet. It does have a little bitterness yeah. in the end too. Yeah, it does. Let me see. Let me try. Yeah, it's not like the the Bali one where it was like French toast, right? This one's this one's completely different. It's this, completely different. This is actually more like rum, but it's yeah, and it's pretty subtle. Like mm -hmm. it's not like it's not overpowering at all. It's a sipper. It's sure. a sipper. Spiced rum by any means. No, it's not. It's I, I think by itself because you know a lot of rum like people they like mixing it with like cokes and things like that. Yeah. This one, I honestly I can drink this one like by itself. Oh yeah, I would totally drink this by itself. Because um, it's it's really not overpowering and. I'm not, it's actually like for the first like liquor we've gone through. Mm. I don't feel like that. You know that that really like, or like that. What was it like? A uh, uh, burn. Or burn something. that's going down. So I think it's this is a home run. I would say I would say it's a uh, for a rum. It's for a rum. Yeah, it it's actually reminds me a lot of a whiskey, like a bourbon would. You know what? You're but right. I, mean, I think the whole point of it being a rum is just probably where they got the alcohol from. Yeah. But they probably used a lot of the same ingredients that they used mm -hmm. in their bourbons. That's true. It actually seems, it seems very similar. It's, it's, it is pretty similar. And just knowing it's made out of like sugar cane, I would not guess that. No, no. I would, I would not. I would not guess I it was made out of that. But you know what? It, it does remind me. Actually, it reminds me of the Black Skimmer, honestly. It does. It's very, you know, it's yeah, very similar. It's very similar. I don't know if they, they designed it that way, but it's still mm -hmm. a win. I think I, it's, no, it's definitely good. Yeah. Definitely good. And as far as like rums go, no, this is probably one of my first choices. Yeah, actually, yeah, instead of the, I know the Bali one was good as French toast, but this one, it's the sweetness is not over, is not preparing. No, no, the 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 yeah, the, uh, the day of the dead, you know, Bali rum that that was super sweet. I, yeah. I could probably, I'd have to eat, like be eating something that was that was uh, you know, I don't know, it was, it was, it was, it was pair with it. But this this I mean I just do this by itself. You know what? Like I'm not gonna lie, we can just go in the backyard and smoke a cigar. I think this would taste. Really you know what? It, it probably would. Yeah, honestly, like I think that this would be an actual good pairing with a cigar too, because the bitter it's not it's not like too sweet. It's not bitter too much. It's just it's got like a right balance to it. It is. This yeah. is pretty balanced. This is a pretty balanced pillar balance. 
So I like it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's, 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 it's not whiskey, but it's 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 up there. It's pretty close. Yeah. As far as like flavors go. Yeah. I would say I'd probably give it seven. You know what? I give it a eight, seven eight, too. Eight. I, I, you know what? Forget the seven. I'm gonna give it eight because it's it's super balanced. I like mm -hmm. I like that you can. It's it's kind of versatile. Mm -hmm. So it's not like oh man. I can see myself like on a beach, like drinking this and yeah. having a cigar, no problem. All right, that's all we got for tonight, guys. So please like, subscribe, leave a comment below if anything else you want us to try. If you're interested in other reviews or other other things that you know we've done before, go ahead and we'll click on the videos below, and you know we'll get our, our opinions on on what whatever kind of products that we've done so far. Don't forget to stop by Liquor Stop in San Marcos on San Marcos Boulevard in Las Posas. They have a great selection, uh, and I'm sure the staff there would be more than happy to help you with anything that you may need. Cheers. Cheers.